to another text on tutorial. I'm going to show you how to uh, jailbreak your iPod or iPhone firmware version 3.1.3 using Snow Breeze. Now um, it's a really pro easy program to use and um, here are the requirements you will need. Now here are the supported devices. You will need an uh, um, iPhone, the first generation one, it doesn't matter, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS also work, works but only with the old boot ROM edition. Okay? iPod Touch first generation, iPod Touch second generation is also supported, but it only supports uh, any model except the MC model in the second generation iPod. If you want to know if your iPod Touch 2G model is an MC model, all you need to do is go to Settings, General, About, and check your model number. If the first two digits or whatever says MC, your iPod's not supported. Okay and uh, next up you will need the 3.1.3 firmware that you can get it from here the link will be in the description you can download it just uh, open this drop down menu right here uh, browse for your device mine is an iPod Touch 2G and I want 3.1.3 click that and click download okay so let's begin so you have to get snow breeze first of all you can check the device is supported right here uh, and over here, Snow Breeze, all you need to do is download it. You will need Net Framework 2.0. And once you have all that, and by the way, you will need the latest version of iTunes, by the way, that's iTunes 9 and above. Okay? Now, if you see, my iPod is currently 3.0, and now I want to upgrade it to 3.1.3. Now, do not use the update option in iTunes because that's not what we are going to do today. Secondly, make sure all your apps are backed up, okay? Now here are all my apps. If you want to back them up, right click on any one of them and click show in Explorer. And now uh, it should open up Windows Explorer with all your apps right here. Just copy them somewhere else and once you're done installing the new firmware, copy them back into the iTunes library and you're done. Okay, so uh, let's, get up, let's get started with Snow Breeze now that we have our firmware. Let's open up Snow Breeze, click run. software is not quite a commercial use, yada yada, click OK and get your files ready, click next. You can either click simple mode or expert mode. Expert mode you can customize your boot logos and um, there's also some settings you will need to check for the 3GS models. I suggest you check another tutorial for that. So I'm going to click simple mode, click next. IPSW, this is where you're going to select your firmware. So here it is, Let's double click that. Now it's going to check. It should give me a warning message saying that I have a 2G iPod. See? If your iPod Touch 2G is an MC model, then you cannot use it. I understand it's not an MC model. Actually, MC models are basically the newer versions of the iPod Touch second generation. So if you got my your iPod Touch 2G a little bit recently, I don't think it will be supported. Next. And now it's going to do all its work. So in the meantime, just sit back, relax, do whatever you want. It'll patch up the kernels and everything, add Cydia, all those apps. And once it's done, you should get something like this. Uh, done, Snowbreeze so have successfully created the custom firmware file. Okay, it's going to be in my desktop. And now it says to connect my iPod 2G. Now I already have it connected. If you see, oops, microphone fell. If you see through the camera, my iPod Touch is connected already. Now it says to enter recovery mode. Now do not go into recovery mode. You don't really have to, okay? Now I've done okay. Everything with that. Let's close. And here's my new custom firmware file. It just says Snow Breeze iPod Touch 2G. That's my device. Now you're supposed to upgrade using this now. This one. Now we're gonna go to iTunes and we're gonna use the shift and click restore uh, process. So hold shift and click restore. This will allow you to select your own firmware to upgrade, okay? Now, let me just show my iPod. We're going to select the uh, Snow Breeze file. Now it's going to start extracting. It's going to prepare the iPod. 
to restore. So you can see now it's showing this iTunes uh, connect to iTunes logo. Okay, so it's actually restoring right now. There you go. There's the logo of Snowbreeze. Doing a couple of processes and. Uh, there we go, now you see this icon. And now it's currently, currently uh, restoring. Actually it's just saying waiting for icon and now it's going to start restoring any moment. Okay, so now it has uh, been restored. The iPod has been restored. Here's the new Snowbreeze logo. You can change this anytime, except you have to repeat the whole process again and go to expert mode in Snowbreeze. Okay, and now I don't know what it's doing. So, Snowbreeze logo is replaced. I've already connected mine, let me just see whether it's verified or not. Yeah. So you can see the Connect ITs logo. Okay, and I believe we're done. So let me just unlock this. And now it looks like as if we just bought the iPod. And there we go, CDI. Let's go to settings and let's check our new firmware. I'm not sure if you can really see it that clear. General. About. There we go. 3.1.3. I don't think you can see it that well. I didn't really focus the camera before recording. But you can see 3.1.3. 6.8 GB. What a ripoff. Okay, now to back everything else. I mean, to get the applications back. Restore from the backup. Over here. Continue. And now it's going to just uh, get your applications back onto your iPod, your photos, applications, whatever it is, it's going to get everything back onto the iPod, and you're done. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you did, why don't you subscribe for more. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.